Right, hi there guys, Sean Mack here from chatammo.net and what we'll go through a little bit today is getting customers. Um, so getting customers for your chatbots, um, if you're working as an affiliate or as a digital agency. Now personally, I would suggest going for the digital agency because it's going to make you an awful lot more money. Um, and you can use chatbots and you can use websites and everything else. What I'm going to go through is just a couple of ways, well actually one main way, that, um, well one of the ways, that I go out and actually find customers. So first off, if you go on to chatammo.com, then what you're going to see is inside of here, there is an absolute load of things that all points to free training. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is first to build up the know, like, and trust within businesses. So if I get a business in here, then what I can do is they'll come in here, click on this bit, and go into my membership site. Now, within the membership site, we have an absolute stack of tutorials, like a ridiculous amount of tutorials on how to use the chatbot, and the different industries and things such as this. Now, with our chatbot, we have quite a lot of differences, but the people will never ever find a, find out about our differences and how come I was a complete marketing system if we don't actually give them something first. So I believe in giving something first and then kind of taking from there, right? So we'll use examples. We'll use an example of restaurant, right? So right now we've got restaurants. So here's how we help restaurants profit. What we have, better restaurant reviews, um, restaurant website with food ordering, promos that work for restaurants, and so much more. Now, if we go on to this page right here, which is Food Guru. Right. So within here, um, this page is just for restaurants. Now, we also do South African restaurants because um, we do have 11 different payment options, so we can cover worldwide, which nobody else can do. And there's kind of quite a few other things that we can do as well. But firstly, what it is is we can't give them anything because if I just go in and I just start talking about chatbots and marketing and everything else, the restaurant's going to get bored. That's not what a business is interested in. What a business is interested in is basically how much will it cost us? How much will I make? Right? That's the be all and end all for all businesses. So if you can't go in there and you can't give them a price on how much it's going to cost them and what their benefits are, then you're never going to do anything. Now, the benefits to you and me um, being digital marketers might be really quite simple. And it might be right, okay, well, the benefit is this, this, that, and this, right? Now, that's all cool. Apart from they need it more in layman's terms. So I'm going to go through this little lot, right? So basically, we've got complete food ordering in. Now, our app can do food ordering in and out. And the important things that restaurants are worried about within food ordering is firstly, can they accept um, digital payments? So, yes, they can. Um, can they accept all different currencies? Yes, we can do all that, right? Full online ordering, so they can order everything online all within inside of their app. So if this restaurant is particularly worried about the likes of just eat something like them, um, just eat Uber Eats, anything like this, then we can bypass that altogether and we can give them direct access to their own complete sales system, right? Now it also means we can give digital menus, which at the time, well, at the moment is really quite important because um, restaurants aren't allowed menus out on their tables because people are handling and this whole COVID thing keeps on spreading. So we can do a different menu per table by using a QR code. We can also have every different table being able to order and that table number being sent into the kitchen. Kitchen can then place the order and we know exactly where the order's coming back to. So all of that can be done as well. Um, you can track all of your food sales. You can track all of your payments. You can offer discount codes. Um, you can remarket the people because they're already in there once, and you can increase reviews and, you know, what your best-selling things are. Now, in amongst that, right, that is just obviously providing value um, and showing them what sort of benefits they're going to get. We've also put together um, Gloria Food, Uber Eats, Grubhub, Just Eat, <clears throat> and these are all the comparisons. So what we have um, compared to what everybody else has and how much it's going to cost you if you were to use another person's program. So as you can see, it's quite um, unique. I've also got restaurant ordering, um, we have the digital menu, we have cash payments, we have orders sent straight to the kitchen. Um, we can track the orders in real time, we can track um, takings in stock. We can keep yourself and the customers informed of progress of the order because we can keep on sending out messages saying your order's now been accepted, your order's now in transit, so on and so forth. Um, you can build your list ready to retarget, right? I've worded that quite wrongly, that should be. We're gonna build your, we're gonna get all your customers in and this means that we can start talking to your customers anytime that we want and we can get you more of customers. So we can run a simple advert for a restaurant 
um, say in 20 mile radius and say for example we're going to run a birthday bot now a birthday bot all we do is we're going to facebook and we select anybody who's got them birthdays this month and we just target those people then we offer a completely free meal to the person whose birthday it is now it's very very rare one person's going to come out for their birthday they normally have a group of friends and if this particular restaurant is using the likes of Groupon or various other discount code places, they're going to be paying around about 50% to Groupon and they're also offering a 50% discount. So at the end, they're getting about 25% of the money that they should be getting for the meal. So obviously, these people are prime for what we can come in and do to them. Now, if you're offering a restaurant uh, birthday bot, accept the booking and take the booking, get all the people, we can order from the table, we can have all the menus sort of this person needs for free so that's where they're going to have the party and all the rest of us the qr codes for easy hygiene we use inside or outside and the qr code we can also use in all of the boxes and receipts so when you send out when your restaurant sends out a meal print off the qr code and straight away the person can zap the qr code and they're right back in to the takeaway we can also then send repeat things and um, we can do simple fast reservations we can do Reviews and autopilot, increase the amount of customers they've got, remarket to the customers, improve the customer's experience by using all the different things. And we can also offer all of the social posts, right? So they might be struggling with social posting. It's not a problem. We can do social and print posting for them, right? These are all different things which you can offer. But all of these things do not make one iota of sense if you can't get in to see the restaurant right you might have the greatest chatbot greatest marketing system i believe we have um you might have the greatest thing that's out there but if you can't get the restaurant's interest in the first place if you're just sending out cold emails if you just send out all sorts of different things um you're not going to be able to get the restaurant interested now what we do and um, we do things a little bit differently we actually give them a complete free restaurant website right so We'll go in there and we'll say, look, here's a restaurant website for you. Um, you can change it any way you want to. All of everything can be changed in amongst it. As you can see, they're just nice little sites and they're all cool. Now, the big advantage to this for you is all of these restaurant sites are all through Groove, right? Now, that means this costs you nothing, right? You can have all of these sites. You can, give, you can share all the sites. You can give all the sites away. It doesn't make a difference. What you should be worrying about with Groove and with these websites is if the people upgrade. And if they upgrade now, that's awesome. Um, you'll receive about $275 um, in your pocket. So you get this money just for giving away websites. This pays for your advertising. So you can start advertising free websites to every single restaurant out there. Don't worry, I'll give all the websites to all my affiliates. Um, you can start advertising all of these different websites to everybody by using Facebook ads, YouTube ads, whatever you want to use to get the people interested and to get them to download this website. Now, once they download the website, straight away, firstly, you know that the person's interested in internet marketing. Otherwise, why would they bother with the website? So already you've got one form of interest. You also gather their email addresses, right? So their email addresses you've got, which means you can retarget them. Or even better, you would use one of our chatbots which would then collect all the details about them. Now, after they've got the website, I would leave it a couple of days and I would say, do you mind if we book a call? Send them a quick little message out. Would you like to book a call? And we'll just take you through the website, make sure you find it all okay, because we want you to succeed, which you do. And um, at the end of the day, if you're working for a restaurant, a realtor, a plumber, a tattoo artist, anything at all, then you want them to succeed because then they're going to keep on paying you. And the more they pay you, the more you want them to succeed because you want long-term customers. Now, all of this is all really simple. It's all in my membership site. It shows you exactly how to do all of this. And this means if you're going up against some other social media manager or some other digital marketer, who do you think they're going to pick? If you're offering a free website, which a lot of social media marketers are offering for thousands, um, so you're offering it completely free, um, looking at the free website, it's free hosting, um, it's free everything. Well, let's just get this website in place. We we'll want to help as many restaurants as we can. And um, by putting this website in place, you're going to get a higher, higher clientele. Then we can start telling them about social media, right? Okay, well, have you looked at your social media? Have you looked at how much you're posting? Have you looked at, does your website have a chat button? In it? These are all things that we can start then using as an upsell. So we can start managing their chat bots for them. We can start putting the chat bots on the website for them. We can start completely automating 
their social media posts and we can sell them the social media posts. All of these things are all different things that we can make money on. And so what I would do, well, well, what I'm saying is basically, if you ever listen to Russell Brunson, you'll hear a lot about the value ladder. And the value ladder basically starts off at zero. Um, it's just a way to collect in the emails. It's a, it's a kind of loss leader. Now, Russell Brunson uses Book, um, which is free plus shipping, which is quite expensive for shipping, so I don't think it quite is, but that's besides the point. What we're using is we're using free websites. That's exactly what we're using. We're using free websites to gather their information and to find people who are interested in what we have to sell. What we have to sell is complete services or our chatbots, depending on if you're affiliate marketer or not. Now, if you're an affiliate marketer, you just go out, sell these, and there's no need to ever worry about it again. It's, it's done. Um, it's sold. It's not a problem. However, if you are an agency, can you imagine how many more people you can get in to see if you can offer all of those different features, so such as the whole food ordering app, the birthday bots, the automated social media, the reviews on autopilot, um, everything such as this that we have that no other chatbot has, and you give them a free website before they even do anything. You're not even asking them to sign anything. I give them a free website, and then I give them a bell a bit later on, and I say, hi, how, how are you managing with your free website? They'll say, I might be struggling, whatever. Right, cool, let's jump on a call. While I'm on that call, I'm then going to go through all of the different details, what they are, what they're doing, how they find the site, how they find the management site, how they find all the different various bits. Can they do it all? From there, I'm then going to ask them, right, okay, well, what is, is it your website that is the major concern? Do you know that a lot of people don't book through websites? Um, most people right now are looking at reviews. So straight away, we can do review management for them. Um, that's all automated on the chatbot. That's not a problem. Um, next, they might want more customers, they might want to build a bigger list. We're explaining them the benefits of a list and how they can then remarket and all the rest of it. And then we can put a chatbot in place. After that, we might want to start telling them about birthday bots. We can then build them a birthday bot and charge for this. So now we're charging for Facebook ads, we're charging for um, messenger bot marketing, we're charging for birthday bot marketing. We can charge for looking after their um, various different social medias. So all of this is all me that's mounting up. And a lot of people's going out there and they're listening to these certain gurus who say, right, okay, each business you go out and charge 500 or you charge $1,000 or you charge whatever. If you're doing this whole social media thing correctly, right, and you're going after one target market, then there's no need to go out and charge $1,000. A lot of a lot of businesses can't afford $1,000, particularly not now the COVID things on happened. Um, there's a lot of restaurants that's struggling. And so you can start building exactly what you, what they want and charging that per month. At the end of the day, it's all automated. So it doesn't make a difference to you. Um, the whole thing, if I was posting social media for a month for a restaurant, I could set that up in around about an hour um, and I would have a daily post set up without a problem. Um, maybe it's two hours. So two hours and I've set up a full month worth of posts, posting daily. Um, and to be honest, it gets easier because then it will repeat the posts as well if we put it into repeat. So it means that we've got posts constantly coming and that restaurant getting more and more awareness. Now, even though I completely disagree with them, um, I disagree with boosting posts because Facebook taking an awful lot of money through it. Um, you can boost their posts. You can spend $3 a day in their local area. Just boost their posts, get them more known, get them more fans, get them more interacting, ask questions. Right, so that's, so restaurants are quite easy, right? Restaurants are, we have all of this that we can offer them. Should really put that at the top. Don't worry, I also give away all this um, page as well. So that's restaurants. Now, restaurants obviously at the moment haven't got that much money. Um, and so, we need an alternative, which could be, for example, realtors. Real estate market is going absolutely bananas. I have no idea why or how or anything else. Um, it's really got me quite confused. So we've got a simple realtor thing. And again, completely free sales funnel and free hosting for life, right? So we're going to set some simple drag and drop website out there. Free sales funnel that converts, free email autoresponder, fast loading pages for Google ranking, everything organized in one dashboard. Right, this is the thing that we're actually pushing. Now, if you go on YouTube and you look at realtors landing pages, you'll see a lot of people on advertising that they do free realtors landing pages. They don't. Um, they're doing click funnels and it's free for two weeks. 
And after that, they've got to pay $97 per month. With this, they don't have to do that. Now, the big advantage with this as well, so first off, you get the email and you get the name, and then they go to this page right here. This page right here, we say, okay, so you've got your website, your website's all cool. But then we can say, your website's good, um, but, we funnels are good, sorry, landing pages are good, but you need all these other things. You need Facebook automation, you need Instagram automation, you need Twitter automation, you need LinkedIn automation. We can offer you all of that, right? So we just automate the whole lot through our chatbot. We also tell them, tell them all about the real estate market and 24-7 lead generation, right? And what this is, it's lead generation for them because the chatbot's working for them. They're getting all of the benefits of a chatbot without having to pay an absolute fortune. You guys can charge whatever you like. Um, you're just using my system. Um, now, this is $27 for a real estate chatbot. That's 27 a month. Now, if you look at ManyChat, ManyChat is free um, up until you want to actually start using more or less all their features. Um, so it's very, very strange. It's not really free in the slightest. So you've got ManyChat who don't have as many features as us. And if you want to use their features, it's at least $10 per month. Now, we're offering a full social media management in amongst ours. And we've got an awful lot more other features in there as well. So we have, we charge more. However, you could look at the likes of Chatmo, which I believe the Chatmatic, sorry, which I believe is around about ninety seven dollars per month. Chatfuel, which is a, a very expensive program and very complicated to work as well. It's um, <clears throat> torture. And so you can offer this for twenty seven dollars a month. You can charge whatever you want, right? So. This is our little page. So see how our realtors are converting higher. Um, now this one, we just go straight to a chatbot. So if I was using this as a posting thing, I would send it straight off to the chatbot and they would see the whole thing. So what's make our three step different, right? So this is what you would show to realtors. So first off, we get the latest marketing. So sharing all their marketing on social media. Next, custom built real estate funnels. So we go out, we can sell them the real estate funnels. We can charge them for the real estate funnels as we run MultiPlanet and custom real estate chatbot. You can charge them for building up their chatbot. You can also charge them monthly for managing their chatbot, for driving leads, for doing the whole lot. Right, now what I've done is I've went through a couple of things here, right? A lot of um, realtors are swearing by their websites and this is telling them why their website isn't very good because people are left with too many options. If you give people options, they will start clicking all over the place and it turns into chaos, they get no sales. And ask them how many sales have actually got through the website lately. It won't be very many. And this is the problem because nobody's building up the list. Important thing to do, build your list, then start doing it, right? Then start bombarding them with your website. But we're going to build a list through funnels. So we're going to have an exact cause, what we want them to do for them to go on further. Right, so for good measure, we're going to add chat button up along the way. Um, so this is all about this. I'm going to use psychology, typically a real... Uh, we're trying to track seller by bragging about themselves. We are the best in the area. But believe it or not, people don't care, right? The only thing that people care about is themselves. And that's what we tell them what to put onto their funnel, or on their sales funnel, random pages. Um, another one we use quite often, we'll say a free consultation, a no obligation quotation. I love that one. Which basically people read as they're going to try and pitch us. They're going to try and sell me straight away. So we'll go past that by using a chatbot and then we completely qualify the people with the chatbot, right? And not a lot of people using the chatbot. The best of it is, if you want to go out and sell chatbots to realtors, you can take them to YouTube and you can say, look, go into YouTube and type in chatbot for realtors. Everybody is going mental about how great chatbots are for realtors, right? The best of it is, they're all saying many chat. Now you can come in and say, right, yeah, many chat used to be great. Many chat used to be awesome. However, there's this new one about that is 10 times better and it'll do loads of other stuff for you at the same time, right? We've got just about the same back end as many chat and all the rest of them, but we have all of these extras and extra things that we can do as well. So anyway, that's, um, that's my take on how I go and get customers for a couple of different niches. Um, I prefer giving them free um, landing pages and whatnot for them to go in, use the free landing pages, do whatever they want with the landing pages. If they upgrade, we get paid again, um, which is a nice little payment. I actually I actually hope that I don't sell any upfront because I want to wait until Groove charges monthly and then I'll just take a nice monthly commission. Um, another one I use is WebAssembly. Now, 
it's another awesome thing. It's based on uh, WordPress. And I use that as well. Um, and we use that for local marketing. So local marketing, I might put out an ad somewhere. And we'll say, do you want to get your website listed in our directory? Now, we all know directories are useless. But um, how do I get my website to work on Google? Right, half my car spell rank. <laughs> um, right, so how to get my website to rank on Google? This is what business owners are sitting looking at. Right, there's 10 ways. Get more backlinks. But um, right, we're straight there. Get more backlinks. So what we do is we offer them a directory. We say, look, this is the directory. Would like to list on our directory. Um, the directory then gives you an opportunity to talk to the customers. You find out what their needs, wants, and desires are. You find out what their pain problems are. You don't try and sell them on the first go. Sell them later on uh, when you ring them back and say, right, okay, just want to double check the sentry's all cool for you. Um, how's this sound? How's this look for you? And they're going to go, it looks great. Um, you're going to go, right, okay, cool. Last time you spoke was about your website. I know you didn't have a pixel on. Um, for example, right? Well, obviously, I'm pixeled up left, right, center. Um, you didn't have a pixel on, or you did have a pixel on. If you have a pixel on, I notice that you're not retargeting within Facebook. Just go to their Facebook page, have a look at what ads are running. If they're not retargeting, there's a straight inroad for you. So it means that they're wasting an awful lot of money. And all these people who's up high, all of these ones who's got ads running, awesome. <laughs> Just unbelievable. All of these people can be targeted straight away, right? And these are an SEO company, right? So these people, SEO, I wouldn't even like to see. Actually, I just took off my Uber suggest. I wouldn't even like to see how much they're paying per month for their SEO thing. But these are some different ways that I use, a couple of different ways that I use, um, just to offer value to customers. And guys, at the end of the day, if you want to make a lot of money, then you've got to put in the effort. Unfortunately, nobody just comes with a, a pile of money waiting for you. Um, you've got to get yourself known, got to get yourself out there. I used to go around when I had my agency um, working full on. I was going around to different restaurants, knocking on the doors and showing them on my phone, like, look, have you seen this? What I can do for your business? And I would make up a little demo one and go, right, okay, there you go with the demo. And people love it. It's awesome. Right. Anyway, if this um, has been any help to you, I would love to hear your comments down below. Um, we've got Instagram coming very shortly with all the Instagram messages. We're just going to open everything up even further. Um, that's going to be quite interesting, actually. I think uh, it's going to be it's going to be fun because we have far too many of the features that nobody else has, um, and there's a massive opportunity to make money out there as well. So, if this sounds interesting to you, let's hear your comments and anything at all that we can help with. Feel free to book a call with us and let's get your business going. Cheers! Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.